No matter where you travel in Illinois, historic bridges are part of the landscape. These quiet monuments to transportation and engineering history are a link to the past that both visitors and residents can enjoy. Illinois Route 3, originally part of state bond issue Route 150, is a major north-south state highway in southwestern Illinois. From its southern terminus, four miles north of Cairo, Route 3 parallels the Mississippi River for most of its journey. Carrying most of the Illinois portion of the Great River Road along its length, Route 3 runs past many historical sites and bridges. Miller Creek Bridge is one of those historical bridges. In the late 1930s, the short stretch of two-lane road between Gale and Thebes that travels across the bridge became part of Route 3. In the mid-1990s, it was bypassed and renamed Old Route 3. IDOT Structure 002-0010 also known as Miller Creek Bridge, carries the old Illinois Route 3 alignment over Miller Creek about one mile northeast of Thebes in Alexander County. Built in 1933, the Miller Creek Bridge is an example of a riveted five-panel Pratt Pony Trust design with concrete T-beam approaches and concrete railings. The overall length is 148 feet with an 82-foot main span. Based on historical records of the many Pratt Pony Trust style bridges built in Illinois, Miller Creek was one of few constructed with concrete approaches. The truss portion, or superstructure, was fabricated by the Midland Structural Steel Company of Cicero, Illinois. The bridge itself was erected by Watt Construction Company of Winchester, Illinois. In 1934, the Jacksonville Daily Journal announced Watt Construction had been incorporated. The three shareholders listed were W.G. Watt, Claude Thomas, and R.E. Hedgecock. Claude Thomas, a farmer, was William Gibbs Watts' father-in-law. Ralph Hedgecock was a World War I Engineer Corps veteran who went on to receive a degree in civil engineering from the University of Illinois. When Miller Creek Bridge was constructed, Hedgecock was the vice president of Watt Construction. Watt Construction Company went on to build numerous bridges and roads across central and southern Illinois. Federal funding for the statewide construction project that included Miller Creek Bridge helped to create badly needed jobs during the Great Depression. Despite this incredible need, a dispute over cement prices between cement manufacturers and the state administration delayed the project start by several weeks. When they finally agreed upon a price, the state purchased 2 million barrels of cement to be shipped out to 110 projects statewide. As well as creating vital jobs, projects funded by the Federal Aid Road Act played an integral part in improving and expanding roadways in America. In the 1932 edition of the Illinois State Map, the route between Gale and Thebes is considered an improved road made of gravel, stone, shale, and other such materials. A step up from other roads marked as dirt roads, but less reliable than paved roads. The Route 150 project created more reliable routes between communities like Gale and Thebes, but also a more reliable and direct route to larger markets like St. Louis for the farmers of Southern Illinois. There are over 38,000 bridges standing in Illinois today. Between 1898 and 1977, 137 steel Pratt Pony Trust bridges were built here. Over half were built before 1940. Of those 137, only 46 remain. Four, including the Miller Creek Bridge, are in southwestern Illinois. On the whole, steel truss type bridges are becoming rare as they're replaced over time. A 
delicate balance is required to maintain safe transportation corridors while seeking to preserve historically significant structures. While it's not practical to save every historic bridge, it is possible to document them so that their importance can remain part of our state's story for generations to come.